What's up guys? Today we're going to be doing a gel coat repair and a fiberglass repair um, to the cap. This is a newer Regal. Uh, it had some impact damage. Another boat ran into it while it was tied up to the dock. We'll show you the steps along the way. Okay, so basically we're rubbing guide coat on these stress cracks so we can see exactly where they are. Now you're able to see all the stress cracks and you're not going to miss any. You can see it goes a lot further than we thought. <laughs> Still going. But that's what we're looking at here. I'm gonna have to grind all these out. Basically what we're gonna do is just grind this out, lay some glass on here and then fill and fair, spray the gel coat. So we're gonna take all the gel coat off instead of grinding each crack individually, and then we'll lay some glass in there. Everything needs to look like that. Glass wasn't as bad as I thought, so we're just gonna do two layers of uh, ounce and a half. So I'm measuring it out. This stuff you want to rip with your hands. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be exact. Majority of it should be right in there. And you're not going to you're not going to go past that with the resin. I'm just going to tape off there and I'll show you how to apply the resin. I'm going to do two layers of this. We're using polyester resin. This is above the water line. This is okay for that. And we're going straight into uh, bearing and gel coating. So this will be just fine for this repair. The glass doesn't look too bad at all. So you wet your surface out. We are working in the sun, so you need to work quick, especially in Florida. If you're up north, you probably got, got you got some time to work. Here, it goes quick. Direct sunlight. I can already feel it kind of packing up. Fast. Definitely needs more resin. Wipe that up. Basically right now we're rolling all the air bubbles out.
And this is laminating resin, so we're going to cover this with gel coat to harden it up real quick. And that'll leave a nice, nice finish to start sanding on. This is dried with the wax on here. I'm actually going to take some acetone, wipe it down real quick, and then go over it with a uh, 220, and then we'll do the body fill. This is what we're left off with after sanding the fiberglass and gel coat. Now we're ready for the body filler. And this repair will be mostly glass and just a little body filler where the stress cracks were. On this first pass, we're gonna be using this 3M Marine Premium Filler. This is vinyl ester. So this is a good tie coat in between epoxies and polyesters. You can use different color cream hardeners depending on the color of the boat. I wanted to keep this one you know as light as possible. I don't think the blue would make too much of a difference but the white is a little lighter as far as coverage. So that's what we're gonna be sticking on. Stuff. I'm going to keep it light so that there's not a whole lot of sanding afterward. And come back with the glaze and fill the rest of our, our imperfections. We did our first pass with the with the vinyl ester filler. Um, you know, I did did light coats. It looks messy, but we're gonna sand this top part down, and then we're gonna come in with our glaze filler and do nice clean runs across it. We want it to look like this, and then all this little stuff is gonna get filled in with the glaze. For the glaze, we're using icing with the same hardener. Once you put this stuff on, you know, you'll realize how easy it is to work with. It's self-leveling, polyester. Really nice for getting all the dimples out, but it does dry fast. It's probably 90, 91 degrees. We're in the shade. So we got about a minute of working time. Putting it on with the little one, and then I'm gonna do one long pull with the, with the big one. It's already hardening up, so I'm not going to do the other side. I'm going to clean this up real quick. down here this 
Need a little more filler in here. You can see the gap. You can see the top part up here. The little gap. Hold it here. Not so much of a gap. Do a little more filler up top. That was good, so right in here. We're gonna do a quick once over with the sander and then get into the blocking. So basically you want to run your hand over this and not feel any any inconsistencies. If you feel like maybe your finger got stopped, that's a good indication that the filler isn't flush. You're gonna see that when you spray the gel coat, it's gonna be raised. And you're gonna have to do a lot more sanding and possibly burn through to your filler. Feels good. Move on to the next section. Don't keep working it. We mixed basically two ounces of gel coat, one ounce of patchade, and 2% MEKP, which is the hardener. Shook it up in there real good. Test spray. Always do a test spray. Some of these don't really spray out too well. I would recommend buying a few and having them ready once you mix that gel coat up. And it, they're similar to paint, but you want to keep it flowing. You want to fill in all the orange peel till it looks smooth. You're going to need a couple, I'd say probably three or four coats. So as soon as this one's done, you're going to start mixing your other one. And be ready to spray right after this. We go about three inches past the repair. When you're spraying with these pre valves, you're still going to get orange peel, um, but you're going to, you know, even with a gun, it'll lay out a little smoother, but you'll still have to sand out the orange peel no matter what. You're okay, just going to wet sand and buff after. And this is our second coat. We're just going to guide coat everything over here. This is going to tell us where all of our orange peel is and our highs and lows. 400, just a flat block. See, this is where the edge of the spray was. This is how far out I sanded. You never want to go all the way to the edge of here. You keep it, you know, inside of your sanding area. This is our blend in here. Already, it's looking really nice. Happy with that. We've done the 400, take no scratches out. Now we're, we re guy coated it, and now we're gonna take them out with 800, and then we're gonna repeat that with the 1200, and then we're ready to, but then we're ready to buff. So we just finished um, wet sanding it. Now we're gonna go ahead and buff it on the starboard side. These are the products we're using today Ceramitech, professional grade ultra cut. We're gonna start with the heavy, go with the medium. Then we can go ahead and wax it and so what it looks like before as you can see this from right here to that to the end there's a bunch of scratches and we're gonna go ahead and buff all those out and it'll look brand new all right guys so we got some compound on the pad already i'm gonna start right here and work in smaller sections start slowly i have it on 1400 but i'm barely pressing on just kind of spreading it around a small area and then once you get it spread around you can start using the angles and you can up the speed. We just finished compounding this little area from here to here. I'm just wiping down all the excess compound. This is actually what the heavy compound does, which is actually a big part of it. As you can see right here, shiny, shiny, shiny. And this is what it looked like before. Dull. You can't see any reflection on this. Now guys, we're doing actually a medium cut compound like I showed you guys earlier. Sam brand. This is actually going to remove all the heavy compound scratches. We're still using a wool pad. If you guys are wondering the speed, I kind of adjust it. I start off around 1400 and then when I get it rubbed in real well, I up it to 1800 and then 2200. We just finished with the medium cut compound. 
Now we're heading on to with the Perfected, which is a Polish. Same speed and everything. Might go a little slower in the speed actually. Just try to get it all rubbed in. And this is actually just gonna remove all the excess compound and any other very minor scratches you can barely see through your eyes. All right guys, just wiping it off after our polish it, getting out all the excess polish off. Nice and shiny. Last step here is to uh, wax it. So we got our wax here, UV Marine Wax by Presta. I'm just gonna be putting a little bit on the applicator pad about that much. I'm just doing small sections. I did here to here already. I'm gonna do another small section. Just working in, wax and wax off. Go two or three times around that. And I got my microfiber. And it's gonna dry real quickly, especially down here in Florida. So you're not gonna have to let it sit for long. But if you live up in a colder state or it's not super sunny out, you might have to let it sit for 30 seconds to a minute. But this stuff dries real quick. So you can see it came right off and that's how you're gonna, it's gonna add a protective layer on top of the gel coat. This down here in Florida will last about three months and you've had to get it redone so it protects the gel coat and it doesn't oxidize. Here's the end product. As you can see, beautiful deep gloss reflection we got going on. Perfect. So if you guys haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. And if there's any gel coat videos you want to see in the future, please make a comment.